the Edmonton Eskimos got in the trade was Kenny Stafford, just outside the top 10 in the CFL, 27 catches, over 300 yards. The other half of the trade, as we mentioned off the top, there's Kenny Stafford, and he's coming along nicely. They like what he's doing. They're going to lean on him a lot more because of... We're on a four-game win streak when lost last week to BC at, out at BC Place. Kenny Stafford, his first catch back in Montreal, traded for Fred Stamps in January, said he was shocked the day it happened. Traded for Fred Stamps, who now is an Alouette. Had a good chat with Ed Hervey, the general manager for the Edmonton Eskimos, about the trade that Saw the Edmonton Eskimos pick up Kenny Stafford for Fred Stamps, the perennial all-star, over 8,000 yards. And he said, you know, it, it really was a trade that suited both teams quite well. We wanted a guy with a little more size at 6'3", Kenny Stafford, taller than Fred Stamps. And we wanted that young, that youth that, that could get down the field and be a deep threat. They feel like they have that. Edmonton Eskimos gave up a great football player for me. They received a great football player in my eyes too. Um, but I was unknown. I haven't done anything in this league. Still really haven't done anything in this league. To me, doing something is having a thousand yards. We'll have to see. And a lot of sacks in this game. Nichols threats it into Kenny Stafford. What a catch. The former Alouette loses his helmet but hangs on to the football. Great catch. Perfect throw was Chip Cox has some words for his former mate. Yeah, the ball placement, excellent. You're going to have to, when you get shots, make the best of them. Kenny Stafford has to go down, but the ball placement is right where it has to be because lurking nearby is Jonathan Hefney. He's been very close to that. With Lynch, who already has two touchdowns, running the football as an Eskimo. Bat snap. Lynch throws. Stafford scores. Touchdown. <laughs> Kenny Stafford comes back to Montreal and has an Eskimo touchdown. Both Jordan Lynch and Stafford had a little bit of trouble controlling the football, bobbled it around a little bit. There's a play fake that didn't quite work as smoothly as I'm sure they'd like it to, but doesn't matter when you get in the end zone and score. He's become a go-to guy, Suits. Kenny Stafford, that's his fifth touchdown now as an Eskimo. Oh, yeah, the Edmonton Eskimos happy with the trade, as are the Montreal Alouettes with Fred Stamps. Stafford been targeted almost 50 times so far this season, so they're going to him. Even though he caught that ball from Lynch, Kenny Stafford this week has sat down with the guy he calls Ice, Matt Nichols, almost every morning going over film. Mostly probably the fact that Stafford played here last year and can mm -hmm. alert Nichols and a Jordan Lynch to what kind of defenses the Alouettes run. Well, he made the big play down the scene to get this drive started. Welcome to Ohio once again. Keep it rolling, Eskimos. Let's go. AD, what's up, baby? That was for you. Okay. Well, Kenny Stafford comes by his talent quite naturally. Played with his cousin here in Montreal, Deron Carter, who's down in the NFL now, who's got a very good chance to make the Indianapolis Colts. And, of course, his uncle is Chris Carter. They work out all together in the winter. And Kenny Stafford said the day he was traded, he was shocked, but at the same time realized what an opportunity he has now. Well, I talked about how many times he's been targeted, Rod, and, and when you're a young receiver and you've been, the ball's been thrown to you almost 50 times at this point in the season, you know that the coaching staff and Chris Jones has tremendous trust in Kenny Stafford. They get that size receiver that has the ability to get a defensive back out of his back pedal quickly because of his sheer speed, so that's why they're happy with the trade. And right, I'll tell you what, though, what a quick healer. And Kenny Stafford again, another big first down. Some yards after the catch into Montreal territory, and they're going to move this ball down near the 42-yard line, 30-yard pickup. He got 
Dominic Ellis, who's playing for Gerald Brown at that halfback spot, to just get up out of his chair and turn quickly. Call it the chair when the defensive back is in that crouch position backpedaling. Good, fast receiver like Kenny Stafford. He'll get you up out of your chair in a hurry. Four catches, 66 yards.